It was once said that Brown's Ravine is where all the cool kids would hang out, but the thing is, you had to run to get there. Cross country is an often lonely and foreboding sport. There are no cheerleaders, no stadiums packed with adoring fans or marching bands. The Cordova teams would typically train at Brown's Ravine, often in muddy, if not miserable conditions, on a plowed and hilly landscape laden with rocks and potholes, honing skills that, well, just didn't get too much attention. That is, until the fall of 1973. This collection of athletes turned in the most impressive achievement, not only in school history, but one for the national record books. The team, coached by the late Clark Massey, a 2015 Hall of Fame inductee, capped an undefeated season, won the Sac Joaquin section, and finished the year ranked number three in the nation. So just how good were these guys? Let's take a look. Cordova pulled off a major victory at the October Pleasant Hill Invitational, defeating state powerhouse Merced, and along with it, 50 Bay Area and regional powerhouses. A week later, Cordova captured the Delta League title. Loran Ringo topped all finishers with a time of 15 minutes, 17 seconds on the three-mile course, as the Lancers landed eight men among the top ten finishers. In so doing, the Lancer Harriers became the first team ever to capture the top five places in a single league title meet. And just to show it wasn't a fluke, they turned around and did it again at the Northern California section finals. On a windswept, stormy day, in a driving rain, on an alternate course behind Brown's Ravine. Only this time, the Fab Five finished within one minute of each other, a feat unheard of in the sport, and placed three runners in the top ten. So, who are they? The Fab Five of Delta League and NorCal fame were Loran Ringo, John Wyarty, Gary Sutherland, David Archuleta, and Mark Billington. So good were these runners that comparisons with the nation's top-ranked team at the time, Lee High School out of San Jose, soon percolated throughout the entire state. Cordova and Lee High would never meet, but the clever Massey engineered somewhat of an alternative the following spring during track season. Here's how it went down. Massey entered a familiar quartet in the four-mile relay at the coveted Downey Games, which attracted the best track athletes in California. Three of Cordova's four runners that day were cross-country stars of 1973, Ringo, Sutherland, and Billington. Joined by fleet-footed Marlon Smith, a transfer from Folsom High School, the relay team not only defeated runner-up Lee High, but their time of 17.59.8 is still ranked seventh on the all-time best list for that event. Speaking of Clark Massey, he was revered by his athletes and coached with great fire, passion, and honesty as he mentored and prepared ordinary boys to do extraordinary things. For many, Clark arrived in their lives at just the right time. Some came from broken homes or lacked direction. Others simply needed confidence. For example, wanting the team to become familiar with bad weather, Clark often trained in the mud and on hilly and rough terrain. Recalled at teammate Gary Sutherland, when we came off that hill at Brown's Ravine, we knew a remarkable man was coaching remarkable young men. Clark said to us, there is nobody better prepared than you. Go out and run your race. The squad had a strong supporting cast that pushed everybody at Brown's Ravine during practice. People like Joey Peterson and his brother Kerry, Bert Alarcon, Andy McBride, Chris and Curtis Turney, Frank Shuck was there, Herman Huppert, John Hyde, John Phillips, Kim Hine, Mark Wilson, Mike Harris, Robert Duncan, and Keith Shea. Quite a collection. A powerhouse in a sport that is sometimes overshadowed by Cordova's football success, this team routinely swept the field of top finishers and often bolted across the finish line in a thunderous herd of humanity. But in the year 1973, in the early years of Cordova's decade of dominance, the cross-country team was the toast of Brown's Ravine and, of course, Rancho Cordova.